Hey, yo, what up? It's your boy, Yo Gotti, and you watching the Dub Magazine Project. The Dub Magazine Project. Music is something that just drives the soul. Ride shotgun with the stars. I feel like I have the potential to be one of the best ever. Find out what they drive. I love old cars. I got an old car fetish like crazy. And what drives them? You know what it's like going to the gym every day and then you stop for a week or two? It's hard to go back in the gym. This is your man, Afrojack. Yo, what's going on? This is Macklemore. Chilling on the Dub Magazine Project. What up, what up? Welcome back to the Dub Magazine Project. Now, how do you introduce a player that sold over 30 million albums worldwide? Won numerous awards ranging from MTV to BT to Billboard. Been in at least five major Hollywood films and has had over two dozen endorsement deals. Here's how. S N double O P Snoop Dogg. Check this out. I mean, it's a gift to me. I appreciate it and I love it and I understand that you know, the position that I was given was given for a reason. And the main thing that I try to do is make people happy and make good music and bring people together. I'm like an advocate for peace, you know? I'm like Bob Marley reincarnated. Well, my dreams and aspiration was to be an athlete. You know, I had the skills, but I didn't have the passion as far as the work ethic. So music became something that was more easier for me. It was something that was fun to do, and it was basically a path for me to, to generate finances. When Warren G called me and told me that uh, Dr. Dre liked our song, and he was like, I got Dre on the phone. I'm like, quit bull. And Dr. Dre was on the phone. And he was like, I, can you come by the studio Monday? I'm like, hell yeah. And I came by the studio Monday, and he started recording my song that he liked. And he liked the story. He liked the whole concept. And put, it, put, it, put it up under a beat. And I was like, man, I'm going to be a star. And then that, we didn't do no music for another two months. Then I had to come back and get back with him again, and we started working on the chronic. And before you know it, we started happening. You know what be crazy to me is that a lot of homeless people know who I am, and they don't have TVs or radios or nothing. That's the part that be blowing my mind. Like, how does somebody that don't even got nowhere to stay know who I am? That's amazing, man. I don't even know what what I've done, what I do. Or, you can't even call it, you know what I mean? You don't even know what it is. You can't say, well, I did 100 push-ups and tied my shoes this way, and this is why it happened. You just don't know why. You just try to hold on to the moment for as long as it lasts. This is a hell of a Cadillac, man. This is a monster energy drink, souped up, swooped up, Snoop Dogg kind of a vehicle, you know what I'm saying? They got me riding and rolling, slipping and sliding, dipping and dodging. You understand me? This is what we does, cuz. Well, I'm about to go give with my homeboy some sanction, cuz we got some marketing to go over, you know. We together now. This is a company that they created, and they brought me in on it, so we're going to have a meeting about how I can, you know, help and add my flavor to make it bigger and better and more about everybody in the world getting it. That's the line. What's up, love one? How you doing? I'm good, huh? Good to see you. I'm Esteban Orio, photographer, director out of L.A. I've shot Snoop a lot. My first shooting with him was uh, back in 1998, and uh, you know I've been shooting him ever since, off and on, whenever you know the opportunity arises. Yeah, that was a trip when I shot that one out for ego tripping. Mm -hmm. You with the Dancer V210. Because that was the car I drove when I was in high school. That's so I, I like that too. I'm like, I need to, I need to get I need to get this kind of car. He was like, I drove that same kind of car. And he found it, the orange car, and we posted up in front of my old high school. And like to me, that's like one of my classic records to this day, because that car symbolized where I started. Now we're working together with Sanction. And you know, we're actually partners now, so now you know, can't get no better, you know. You know, this was like the perfect marriage because what could we do that is the best of both worlds. It is always the automobile that brings us, that connects us all. Even we always said that when we ride, that's the only peace and tranquility in LA. That's know? definitely was the number one cause of divorces in the urban community is an automobile. Because if you love this more than you love me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best way the girls ever get back at you. You already know, your fucking car. your joke car, man. If you don't get out of here with my car, I'm not even gonna park at home. We all come together for the same causes, whether it's the music, whether it's the cars, 
We can put on some music right now and we'll all start singing because we all love the same kind of music. We can jump in the car right now and we can comment on it because we know about this car. Everything that we do is a culture thing. And it just so happens that the Latino culture and the black culture, we grew up together. And we share some of the same things that are in common. And as we become men, we reflect back and that's what makes us come together to do things like this because we know and understand what people love and we're trying to provide them with it.